A very good afternoon, Dutch bike vlogger. Thank you for riding with me. Today I'm on my way to the city center. A little bit of a strange day. Because the whole world knows there is a virus. Moving around the world. Today the Netherlands, Groningen. As of yesterday, evening, six o'clock. All bars and restaurants were closed. Everybody had to go home. Also for today, all schools have been closed down. By the way, that was mandated by Dutch government. What I'm now doing is going to city center to see if it's any activity there or not. So maybe I've noticed it's a nice sunshiny day, it's about 10 or 12 degrees, it's very nice. By the way, the timestamp and the left bottom corner is correct. I checked the time before I left and even adjusted the time a little bit. And it should say March, March 16, 2020 of 2020. Yes, 2020. I will try to get this video online this evening, the same day. As you know, in regular videos I'm way behind, but for this I'm going to make an exception and put it online earlier. Of course, when I would air this in the regular schedule this will be online in a month and then well you can count on it things have to would have changed well as you can see there are people out and about but it looks less busy than normal By the way, grocery stores are still open. As it's most part of Dutch government to keep the country running. But going for a pizza or something is not something you can do. Same here, there is an option to deliver it at home, so when you order someone on the bike on the scooter will come to you with a pizza and deliver it to you of course you have to pay in advance no contact at the door no cash
by the way, in Groningen, I think people are still in denial. Denial that it will not be that bad. Well, you've seen the situation in Italy, before that in China. Well, good luck. Also in the Netherlands we do have problems, but that's more at the moment. More concentrated in the south, south of Holland, North Brabant, which is hit hardest. Well, that orange bike you just saw at 11 o'clock, I came towards me, that's the delivery bike. So when you order food, it can be brought to you. Well, leaving the Grote Markt for a on the side for a while and going here. say this is a Monday afternoon, never the, the busiest day for shoppers in Groningen. That's normally Thursday afternoon and evening because shops are open until one, uh, 9 o'clock in the evening. Well, over the Vismarkt. And it's surprisingly busy here. People have, of course, to go to their work, do their shopping, and all kind of things. Probably will change in a bit that everybody is inside. Well, in front of the Korenbeurs, and then going to take a turn again on the other side of the Vismar. driving back where I came from. Normally it's Tuesday, there's a market here. I don't know if it's going to happen tomorrow. how busy it is in our shopping street. Uh, Let's go off the bike because I am actually not allowed to bike cycle my bike here, ride my bike here. So. Hopefully the video is a little bit okay. Well, shops still open. People still going here. Only thing that was closed is the restaurants, and there's not many of them here. I thought I heard something that the McDonald's was closed. But yeah. <laughs> for the rest, all shops seem to be open.
by the way I got a message from God's government to stay away from people one and a half meters but that's not happening I can see By the way, the media, there was some message and I've seen pictures of people hoarding mainly toilet paper for some reason As far as I know not one of the symptoms of the COVID virus is diarrhea, so really unusual. In my opinion, you could better stock up on food and water. Because you need food and water, you always can wipe your butt with a newspaper. Not a pretty thing, but effective of course you want to read the newspaper before that otherwise your asshole will get smarter than yourself and doing it all the way around is gross Well, arrived there at the side of the deep. Time to step on the bike again. Can't believe how sunny it is today. the camera into the correct position so you're not seeing my handlebars but something of the environment I don't know if it's on the video but I saw somebody with a face mask just uh, when I exited the here uh, Strata shopping area maybe in a week we will all walk with these things on our faces I don't know Another thing would be not touching people and washing your hands. Washing your hands and washing your hands. Well, now on the Oosterstraat heading back to the city center to Grote Markt. few seconds maybe here you will see the Martini Torn in the distance very old church building or tower and to my surprise quite busy On the hand, it's not a total lockdown, so people actually are still allowed to go outside. People are still working and doing their thing. 
at least so it seems. Park my bike here somewhere and do a little walk to give you a better view of circumstances and also about the city itself. When we drive through it, and it goes quite fast. Well, I'm back at the stairs of the what we call in Groningen Stadhuis, City Hall. There's the big church, the Martini Kerk. Then on there, last year, I provide you with a link in a clickable title in the top right corner. Well, behind that tower there is the church itself. Then we have another building there with Hoogout on there. Hoogout is a drink, Jenever it's called. That's the local student. Uh, student facility. This one is actually a brand new building, that one where the red crane is in front of. That's the a hotel or something. I'm not sure what's going to be in there, but probably apartments and hotels. And the other one is Nieuwe Markt, that other building on the corner, the white one with a looks to be a penthouse on top. And there's the other side, that's the Zuidzijde, that's actually the bars and restaurants which are closed now. The Drieger Zusters, the Grote Griet, Hoppe, and so on. Hotel de Doelen, hotels are still open by the way, they are still allowed to be open. Well, this side is the north side, that's all modern, it's pre-World War II. Because when we were liberated from the, from the German occupation, the soldiers came from the south and had some resistance, a big resistance from the Germans, and sunk the shot to pieces and burned down. Also, that part where I, where I just filmed burned down completely, so everything was built there new. Luckily the Martini Torrent survived and also the small building that's adjacent to it, that's the Kosterij, that's a sort of, well, cafe, it's probably closed also. Let's walk to somewhere else, a little bit closer to the end of the stairs. I have to carry my bike back with me by the way, I forgot I had it and a uh, backpack would be easier, but that's how it is. Blue sky with clouds on here and there, so it's quite a, quite a nice weather. I can understand people are going outside. Well, there's the bike bag of course. There's the other side from the on the square and I'm looking into the street the Oude Ebbingen Straat and there are two pigeons there not sure what they are doing but probably nothing to do with kissing Well, I did step off the stairs and I'm on the ground level again.
by the way City Hall is closed due to renovations they are having their meeting somewhere else that's the bike rust bucket aka rusty bike by the way our demolishing the tourism office it's now in the forum and it's going to be torn down the building that they were operating for a few years in 